Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new snapshot for Minecraft 19W07A. Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the new snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get started. Alright, so this update is pretty big in my opinion because they have added a new mob to the snapshot or to 1.14 and that is yep they added a fox they added a fox and how cute does that thing look <laughs> they added a fox and they are kind of in a way that I think there are two types of them and we will be taking a look at a tiger biome eventually but let's talk a little bit about these um, nocturnal pets Oh. Nocturnal passive mobs which sleep during the day and are awake at night. Now this guy does seem to be a little bit active and awake. Um, so I don't know if he will go to sleep now. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, it drops nothing when, it, nothing when it's killed and it will run from the player. So if I just step back a little and we'll observe him from a distance. Um, they are about as fast as ocelots, and I agree on that. They seem pretty fast, which is pretty cool. They can be bred with sweet berries, which is also added, which was added in um, a previous snapshot. These guys right here, which you could also plant. Pretty cool. Still haven't changed the sounds, huh? <laughs> um, the baby born will trust the player and not run away, so that is pretty awesome. Um, they can spawn with items in their mouth, like weed and leather. That's cool. Will pick up dropped items with their mouth and drop them if they find food instead. So, if we just take a... What should we take? Um, What happens if we throw some raw cotton to this guy? I want to see what happens. If anything happens. If they will pick it up on their own. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's take some leather. Just because it says they sometimes will spawn with leather, maybe they will pick them up. Let's throw it right there. Oh, it picked it up. <laughs> it's walking around with the leather on it in its mouth. That's so cool. Does it look sweet? <laughs> I love these. Um, may spawn... Uh, the wiki says here it may spawn wandering around villages at night, but it's also tagged with more information needed, so I don't know about that. Um, they hunt chickens and rabbits, so you know what? Let's spawn a chicken and let's see what happens. Maybe it needs to be a little closer. Oh! 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 Oh, wow! Okay. Um, oh! Okay. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> that sounds so cool. What? Oh, it found some more chickens. That jump, though. Oh, it has... Oh, it's eating, I think. Oh, wait a second. Did it just stay here and wiggle its butt for attack like cats do? I think it did. Either that or it was eating the chicken. Whoa, okay, it just ate. <laughs> now it ate. <laughs> wow, these guys, I really love these guys. They're very detailed, I think. Wow. <laughs> I, I can sit and watch this guy all day. Oh. <laughs> I wish I wish they would add this much detail to like cats and stuff, and the other animals as well. Maybe it's coming. I don't know. Um, let's continue. Uh, they jump very high, as we can see, and can jump into fenced-in areas to hunt chickens. Oh, it's eating now. Oh, cool. Um, so that's something you have to keep in mind. You might have to, if you have foxes in the area, you might need to up your fencing a little bit because. Yeah, these guys can jump. Um, 
Uh, they are attacked by wild wolves, but apparently it says but run faster, so I'm assuming that the foxes run faster. Uh, they can curl up in a bowl to sleep, that's cool. A white variant spawns is Snowy Tiger, so that is a biome I really want to spawn in, so I'm gonna go there and we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a fox. Stay tuned. Alright, I think I have a little bit more information about the fox. Foxes will spawn in tiger, snowy tiger biomes that sometimes in tiger villages, in groups of 1 to 3. When spawned in a snowy biome, foxes will be white in color. Um, but it doesn't say any other biomes than that, except for... That was a fox. Oh, there! We found one. <laughs> there we go. And there's one. I think that's a baby one. Is that a baby one? I think that's a baby one. Oh, they're cute. Let's switch it today so we can see them a bit better. <gasps> it went to sleep. It went to sleep. Oh, I love these guys. <laughs> uh, man, they're so cute. Um. But it, uh, it says, when spawning in soil biome, foxes will be white in color, as you can see there. Now, there are some specific items that have a specific percentage chance to automatically be in a fox's mouth when they spawn. Um, there is a 8.5% chance of these items. Egg, emerald, feather, leather, rabbit hide, rabbit's foot, wheat, and cooked pork chop. So those are the items you can find, or c could potentially find. Sounds like a story. <laughs> uh, all right then. Um, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it about the f about the fox. Let's move on to the other subjects in this snapshot. Let's go. All right. So now we are on to some changes. Actually, one new thing as well in world generation with the zombie villagers, which I talked about in another snapshot. Um, they say added the last three village types as zombie villages, which are the Savannah Plains and Snowy Tundra zombie villages. So it sounds like they have finally added the old or updated all the zombie villages to fit these new kinds of villages. So that is pretty cool right there as well. Because we can't have these beautiful villages and then zombie villages spawn as the old ones. That That just wouldn't make any sense, would it? So the next thing is that barrels now have an open texture. You could just see it right down there, that it kind of opens up, as you can see right here, that actually shows it even better. So it shows when a barrel is opened. That's cool. Now we have something about paintings. They say paintings are now broken up into individual, individual textures, and that animations are supported. So I guess when you make texture packs, you'll be able to animate these, I guess. That would be pretty cool if that's the case. And now, funny enough, we actually have some changes or some updates to the villages. Um, armor stands with iron armor can now spawn in tiger villages. Added some torches to previously poorly lit savanna plains and desert village structures, so that is good. Um, added a new loot table for fisher cottages in villages, which is located in the barrels located in the cottages. Now, I don't know if I have one of those in here. Um, whatsoever. So I'm not even going to search for it because that would be a lot of searching in this village with probably not finding anything. So yeah, now you know. Then we have two last things, which is the narrator, which you can enable so he reads the chat. The narrator will now read hovered over buttons out loud, so that is pretty cool right there and the startup screen logo can now be customized with resource packs and that is pretty much all there is in this snapshot with the sun setting in the background so that pretty much sums up this snapshot now we have 22 issues fixed that i will quickly tell you um from the released versions before 114 we have one issue fixed and from the previous development version we have five issues fixed and the rest you can do the math the rest from are from the 1.14 development versions. So, yeah. That's pretty much that. 
I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends. And if you got any suggestions or anything like that or any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.